Hey YouTube, it's me, it's your iPhone Captain. Today we're going to be looking at a Cydia tweet called J Launcher. I reviewed this a couple days ago, however it's been updated and I wanted to touch base with you guys again on it. You can get it for $1.99 and it's a multitask application. And let me show you exactly how it works. It's probably my favorite multitask application because everything is on one screen. I mean, it's got your applications that's running in the background over here. And before, you couldn't close any of those in the background. Well, now you can if you want to close. Say we want to close Safari. We just hold on it, and it slides away. If we want to close the phone app, you just hold your finger on whatever application you want to close, and it goes away. And to me, that's awesome. Uh, you got your album art right here let me turn the volume down you got your volume and your brightness right here you see you can turn the brightness up and down and that's always been something I've needed and if we want to play some album art you see right here we can change it and they've also added a lock orientation button and a little flashlight button however the only problem with the flashlight button that I have is you have to continue holding it down all the time you can't just simply touch it and, and it stay on. You have to continue holding it down. You have to hold the little button right here. It says, watch this. I don't want to shine it right into the glare of the camera. But as long as I hold my finger down, it'll keep, it'll keep on. I guess that's good in a way and bad in a way. I mean, you're not going to run your battery dead. But before, you couldn't lock your, your uh, orientation. Now you can. If you want to turn it to where it's in landscape and portrait, you, you do have the option of turning that on and off now, where before you didn't. But that's J Launcher. You can get it in Cydia for $199. Right here is the price. I'll blow it up so you can see it good. And if you're curious as to how I've done that, you can put that in using iPreview. That's a new application in the App Store if you want to check it out. Also, guys, if you're not a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button before you leave and keep coming back.